It is 90, like 94-ish degrees outside right now, and it's supposed to get a little bit hotter. So the giant AC unit for this building is absolutely a must today. We have a metal roof in this setup, and it is just so incredibly hot. Like this, it's crazy. So like 90, like 90-ish degrees feels like 115. <laughs> so it's like a must. Um, I just got done with probably the most oh hardest <laughs> painstaking made me want to cry pt session yet um the good news is is i can i am so close to being able to oh, touch my pinky <laughs> Like I, I'm barely touching it with my fingernail right now, but you know, that's, that's massive progress because I couldn't, I could not do that at all. Um, I can now touch my other fingers. They're not where they're supposed to be yet, but it's, it's getting better. Uh, the infection in my finger is slowly going down, but it's still not hundred percent yet. Um, but it was just really, really difficult today. Uh, whew, very uh, fracturing my ankle hurt less than today's PT. <laughs> like, uh, for real, for real. Um, I was really thinking a lot about Daphne today and I kind of, you know, really wanted to give a brief shout out to, um, the shirt that I'm wearing today. It's, I bought it. It's Daphne. One of her shirts. I was really thinking about her and everything she stood for in her family today. So it felt right that I wore this shirt today. Um, I really hope someone starts like a foundation with her name in it to really support the the things that she was trying to advocate for in this business that will ultimately help the next generations coming in and their lives thereafter, you know, life after wrestling. <sighs> crazy times, crazy times. That is my brief latest update as far as PT and kind of stuff like that. Um, I'm definitely sporting a BC Lions hat. Some people are like, if it's, if it's so hot out, why are you wearing a beanie? And it's like, dude, I'm from the East Coast. We wear beanies all year round and we wear flip flops in the snow. Okay, we're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we'd be savage on the east coast it'll be like it'll be like 15 degrees and we'll be like that ain't nothing <laughs> um so yeah so i will continue to wear my beanies and i am definitely repping my bc lions beanie guys this is a really really fun story at least for me personally because it's like vindication for me um so as you guys may or may not know, I did not get the opportunity to wrestle with ROH and New Japan uh, at Madison Square Garden, MSG. That's like the goal of goals for so many people. And especially growing up on the East Coast, you always hear about the, the Boston Garden and Madison Square Garden. And so that was like goals for me, right? And so I didn't get to do that. That was really heartbreaking and so forth. But I, you know, so you just move on, right? Well, New Japan helped ROH get about 18,000 in attendance for that show. And, you know, fast forward five years later, uh, I had this really cool uh, working relationship with the BC Lions. And so I got to be on this massive Titantron hype video where I got to speak and I used my, my Talks with Taylor Hendricks banner. Um, and I got to have like a little hype video uh, promoting all the fans that were in attendance that night at BC Place in Vancouver, promoting you know, the new season for the BC Lions and how we have like a new team energy, a new team direction, all thanks to a new owner. And then they all, I also got to edit, um, I had some help editing a highlight reel of some of my wrestling. And it was so cool. Uh, like I, um, I, 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 the original version of my hype video had like Fall Out Boy playing in the background. Light him up, 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 light it up. I'm on fire. It was awesome. It was so epic. So I had two clips of me uh, versus Mandy Leon for our ROH uh, Women of Honor no DQ match. And then I had two clips of me wrestling Giselle Shaw for Lucha Patron. And then I had two clips of me wrestling Jessica James for Women of Honor. And I felt like such a badass. So in essence, I like technically got to perform in front of 35,000 people at BC Place who were all jazzed. Uh, our hype video played after the concert for One Republic. Um, and One Republic liked my video of their concert on Instagram. It was just, it was just such an amazing night. It made me feel so great. Um, you know, I got to see my favorite CFL team play in their home stadium and they absolutely killed it. 59 to 15. It is, it's such a great, amazing, wicked experience. 
um, you know, to get to be a part of that in some way with, you know, somebody wanting you in a hype video, even though you're American and not Canadian. It was just absolutely amazing. It was a once in a lifetime experience for me and I am so excited. Uh, you know, it was so crazy cool. I actually was able, um, a fan actually posted a picture because they saw they were there at the game and it was really, really cool because I wasn't, I wasn't going to like, not that I wasn't going to put it over or say anything, but I didn't want to be like the first one to do it and be like, look at me. <laughs> you know so when somebody else did it they were like oh hey taylor hendrix and i was like oh hey hey girl <laughs> and it was absolutely amazing and then I, I i put it over that i was in the hype video for the the season opener i thought that was so cool because other fans of the bc lions are like will ferrell and ryan reynolds so i was like wait a second like i'm in a similar conversation with those like a-list actors like hell yeah taylor hendrix transcends y'all <laughs> So it was just an amazing experience. So there was no way I was not going to wear my favorite BC Lions beanie today for this episode. Uh, it was, guys, it was so amazing. Like 35,000 people in attendance saw my hype video with my wrestling and my talking on, on a microphone and my hype video that I did personally for the BC Lions. It was just absolutely amazing. It was, it was, it was such a great experience. I mean, 35,000 people. That's just fantastic, you know, and to be able to do that without being a WWE superstar, like you work that much harder for it and it just feels absolutely amazing. It's like the best vindication you can get and you do that just by being your authentic self and, and working hard every single day, building a fan base like you guys listening to this podcast. Um, you guys have heard me say this before, but I genuinely think that I have bar none the best fan base in all of pro wrestling. We are so loyal and savage and positive and hardcore and, and passionate and unique and amazing. It's wicked. It's so cool. All right. Uh, so that's the latest update on all things Taylor. <laughs> you can see how jazzed I am.